Uh -huh. My beloved's clinical case, 45-year-old lady who migrated from Southeast Asia 20 years ago, okay, uh -huh. presents to your clinic with a two-year history of progressively worsening shortness of breath on exertion. Okay, so problem starts at 25 years old. She also reports occasional episodes of palpitations. Ah, no, yes, yes. She vaguely recalls having severe fevers and joint pains as child, as child. So, a long time ago. Ah, and rheumatic fever. On cardiac auscultation, you note the loud first heart sound, S1, and low-pitched rumbling diastolic murmur. The murmur is heard best at the apex with the bell of the stethoscope, while the patient is the, on the left, in the left lateral decubitus position. The described murmur is most characteristic of which of the following valvular stenosis? No, it's a mitral stenosis, of course. So, uh, classic. This is a textbook presentation of mitral stenosis, and every piece of this vignette points toward the diagnosis. So, mitral stenosis is correct. If you wanna, let's break down the classic clues. So, etiology, the patient's history of immigrating from a region where rheumatic fever is still endemic, combined with the childhood history of fevers and joint pains, the strongly suggests a history of rheumatic heart disease, which is the number one cause mitral stenosis worldwide. Uh, pathophysiology and symptoms, the narrowed mitral valve obstructs blood flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle, and this causes pressure to back up into the left atrium and pulmonary circulation, leading to heart failure, dyspnea on exertion. The enlarging left atrium is also prone to developing atrial fibrillation, which explains might be her uh, palpitations, no date of ECG, unfortunately. Auscultation findings, so the description of the murmur is a patagmonic for mitral stenosis, low-pitched rumbling diastolic murmur heard best at the apex with the bell, with the bell is um, the classic sound of uh, turbulent blood flow, my beloveds, across the stenotic mitral valve during diastole. The loud S1 is also a classic finding caused, uh, caused by the uh, forceful uh, slamming shut dump of mitral leaflets from a high pressure left atrium. So high yield takeaway, the combination of history is suggestive of rheumatic fever and the classic auscultation, auscultatory findings of a low-pitched ap apical diastolic rumba is a diagnosis for, no, virtually diagnostic of, for mitral stenosis. Stay blessed.